Hey guys, this is Ronnie. Um, I posted a pattern last night on a couple forums about how I do the triangles and trapezoids parting and I told you guys I would make you a video to show you. So, my friend Libby here is letting me play on her hair. This long, gorgeous, luscious hair. Anyway, so basically it's, it's pretty easy. I can usually do, <clears throat> excuse me, a typical balayage in about 20 minutes, 25 max if I'm doing a colored mouth. It takes longer. So from the bottom of the ear to the bottom of the neck in a V uh, shape, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this on the video. Hopefully you can. So this is my first section. I'm going to turn her so you can see. For some reason I can't zoom in this. Okay, let me get this a little closer for you. Um, can you see the V pattern down at the bottom? All right, that's the first section, okay? Let's set my little Joby back. And then what I do when I paint is I pull the, the section taut like this and I go parallel to the, the parting. So if I'm going to do the parting this way, I'm gonna pull it out this way and I'm gonna paint my V's here and here, okay? Or I'm gonna do a full panel. If I'm gonna do a color melt, then I would do you know all the way through and then blend you know the bleach down. You know you've done this, okay. So that's the first section. So you literally have one and two. And then I take about an inch thick, what looks like a triangle from the middle. Oh, you can't see through all her hair. Through the middle of this part to the middle of this part. So it's not the top, it's in the middle. Okay, and then go across, straight across. And you think an inch is a lot, but it really isn't. Um, and then this one is literally just picked up like this and painted on top. If you want to saturate the ends more like an ombre, you're more than welcome to do that. I mean, you play with it however you want. So basically that same pattern is followed again. So when this has the color on it, you can see that this is the middle right here. You make your next V coming to this point. So then this goes down like this and it's about one inch thick and it literally looks like a trapezoid shape. If, you know, if you need to look that up, go ahead. But trapezoids are, you know, Kind of like an off you know angle rectangle kind of weird but um so you make another v and same thing again you pick up this section hold it with a parting and paint it same thing on this side with a parting and paint it and then from middle to middle across now if you want a more natural look like the picture i posted then you would do exactly what i'm doing right now if you want a, a more uh, saturated feel then you would go thinner sections, probably half an inch. I wouldn't go any thinner than that because then you'll bleed through. All right, so that's the back. It's fairly simple. Now, on the top, lean back, baby. On the top, everybody has this wonderful little cowlick that we love to have, right? We love to hate, <laughs> I guess I should say. And this top one is a V. It always comes out to be a V. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the section and you're gonna push it. And right where her cowlick is, you can see it's split in half. So I let it fall natural and then I paint both of those sections, one on each side, based on how her hair flows. Now you can see her hair likes to go pretty much straight down, so paint it straight down. All right. Now we're going to go to the side. Which side did I show on the video? Was it the left side or the right side? It's the left side. This side? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're in the video now. <laughs> okay, so on the sides here, it's kind of, I don't know if you've seen Shannon's herringbone technique. It's kind of the similar, but not, because one is gonna go all the way across and one is gonna cross hatch across it. So the first parting is gonna go up like this from behind the ear to the temple, okay? Or a little lower if they have, you know, a thicker section, which, you know, she doesn't have. Most of her hair is in the back. Okay, and then I would take this section and I would pull it with the parting and paint it. Okay, the next one I'm going to take from here to about halfway through this parting. Okay, a little more than half, maybe three quarters of the way. So then I would take this section and I go down and make my trapezoid. And then I hold it this way. Okay, still parallel to the parting and then we do it again this time we're going corner to corner all the way across and it makes another triangle 
So all your triangles will be in the front, all your trapezoids will be in the back. And then you'll hold it like that. Now, when I get to the top, like she wears her hair right down the center, okay? Some people wear it to the side. I always part it where they part it, okay? To make it easier for them to style. And then when I get to the top, I always take this top piece, whatever's left out, it's usually a trapezoid shape, I believe, and you kind of do the same thing. You push it and see where it splits, okay? I don't know if you can see that, but it'll have a natural fall. This one actually splits way back here. So you could paint that one little piece and that'll stand out on its own. And then this one, you can see how it like flows down. I don't know if you can see that. See how it bends? So that whole piece will stay together. So we're gonna paint that whole section, okay? And do the same thing on the opposite side. It may split right in the middle, it may not. But you have to just go with the way the hair flows. I promise you, if you do that in that pattern, which I just showed you, um, you will get a very, very soft, natural flow. If you wear it straight, if you wear it curly, because no matter how you push it, you're gonna see some kind of highlight going through it, okay? I did not do this balayage, but um, I will be doing one on her soon. I can't wait to do that, and I'll post that for you guys, okay? Thanks.